How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Mass Beer Reviews back with yet another review. Ryan. How you doing? Guys. Guys. Uh, Ryan, brewphoto.com. Oh, your, your website's defunct now because you don't pay the bill. Uh, brewphoto. It's because Insta- I never updated. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> too lazy. <laughs> brewphoto Instagram. Lou Brew on YouTube. Here uh, reviewing awesome beers all day. Uh, working herself up the ladder. And uh, up next, we're going to be hitting a, another Smutty Nose beer. We just did a uh, Smutty Nose Christmas beer, and we're moving on to Smutty Nose Barley Wine from their Big Beer Series. Ooh. Big. Big, big, beer. big beer Series. This would be my second. It's a big beer, literally and figuratively. Or actually, Is there a series literally. of them? Yeah. Okay. See how it says Big Beer Series? Got it. Yeah, there you go. See? This would be my second Smutty Nose beer. Yeah, ever. Today. Yeah, today. And ever. ever. Um... You obviously you never had this before. Yeah, no. you just said that. I've never had this before. Been looking for it for a long time, but for some reason it doesn't hit my area. Went on a trip a couple weeks ago, saw it, bought it, <coughs> awesome. For two reasons, it's awesome. One, never had it before. Two, it is two years old. So that's kind of even double awesomer. So uh, as far as what it says in the bottle, it's Money Nose Big Beer Series Barley Wine Style Ale, ten point six percent alcohol by volume. Uh, the Smutty Nose Big Beer Series, big beers and big bottles released seasonally in very limited quantities. Our barley wine style ale is rich and malty with hints of fruity esters as well as a hot finish. So, American, assumed. Okay. Uh, enjoy this hearty ale with a fresh fruit and rich cheese on the cold winter's night. Are laid up and, and savor it with a friend for a special summer treat. Aww. And uh, bottle condition, 2013, and that's all she wrote. Label wise, it's cool. Uh, it's Smutty Nose. Their big beer series labels. I like them. There's a little bit... It's kind of creepy. Not creepy. I mean, it's old style, like okay. wood etch style first artwork. Thing, that was the first thing I noticed. The ABV? On the bottle, not on the label. Yeah, they do that. I don't know why they do that. It's kind of yellow stamped on there. Um, it's kind of unique because when I first started reviewing beers, I'm like, oh, there's no ABV. And then one day I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, it's it up here. You know, and it, if you get it wet, it rubs right off. Oh, really? so, yeah, it's kind of like that crappy stuff. Anyway, so the label's cool, but it's just a little bit... I don't know, hokey or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get a bottle opener here. I like barley wines. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It was not kidding bottle, con- or bottle conditioned. The what? I said they weren't kidding bottle conditioned. No. It didn't, like, fly out, but it, it was, was creeping. Huh? 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 I can smell the hops. I can smell the hops from here. Yeah. No, I'm kind of blocked up. Nothing my says Nancy, my Nancy boy uh, allergies racked it up. Nothing says beer review like being locked up nasally. <laughs> yeah, see, excuse me. Yeah, now went from G rated to NC seventeen with that oh. sneeze because that was pornographic. Um, color wise, nice head on it, cat color, decently creamy tap, tightly packed bubbles from bottom to top. Ooh, another one, sneezing McGee over here. I must be allergic to this beer. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what it is. You're allergic to all beer. You should just give me all your beer. That's what it is. I think that's a proper solution to the problem. Fine. Color-wise, uh, yeah, that's pretty damn pretty. It looks like almost like a, a, a neon version apple cider. Yeah. Like it's glowing in its, it's hazy, orange, but you get kind of brownish. I mean, it has a nice cloudy haziness, but also there's like bits and pieces kind of floating around. A little bit of den- yeah, as you call it, density. Yeah. 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 Looks like a barley wine. Nice barley wine. See what she smells like. Hops. Just a little bit, of, a little little bit, bit of sugar. Yeah. You know? Um, not super hoppy. But it's there. No, what'd you say? What year is this? 2013. So it's been, you know, I'm going to assume almost two years because so, um, who knows? I don't know what date this comes out in, but I mean, it's a barley wind, so, so it's probably the, hops are on the end of the year. Yeah, the hops are on the way out. So, so yeah. Yeah, other than that, it's just a um, nice floral hop. Um, but it's almost like an echo of a hop. Like, the hop's there, but yeah. you tell it's kind of died off. A little bit of sugar. It's the ghost of hops past. Gopes. Gopes. Of ghost. Hop, gopes of hops past. Is there a beer called Ghost of Hops Past? That's a great beer name. Um, no, I'm going to edit that out. Delete that so no one can see that. The local, local brewery has one that hops of... Or wait, the hops of... Shape of Hops Town. Yeah, that yeah. one. In the Shamney Creek. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, see? I know what I'm talking about. Let's get in there. Oh, it smells nice. Thought it would be a little bit bigger. It looks nice. Oh, yeah. That's American Broadway wine. Yep. Hops are there. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Absolutely American. Through and through. The hops are there. They've died a decent amount. Like, they, they hit you right up front, but the, they don't really linger, like, bitter, right. bitterly linger, right, linger. They bite you, and then they kind of just settle away. No, yeah, they're not, they're definitely not in the uh, forefront there. They pack their bags, and they're ready to leave. Yeah, they're not sticking around all that long. Followed by, just like, um, kind of like a brown sugar, caramelly, like, lightness. Not too thick. Decent mouthfeel. Yeah. Really, I don't even think there's an ounce of carbonation in there whatsoever. <laughs> Left over. I mean, it's got an effervescence to it, but uh, yeah. as far as just, like, in the beer carbonation, not really not much going on. Yeah. It's it's a nice American barley wine. Yeah. It's, um, you know, like, straight down, straight down the middle, you know, give them the fastball, mm -hmm. American barley wine. <laughs> that being said, it just kind of lacks that wow factor. There's really not much there to kind of separate it from being in a textbook American barley wine. Yeah, I mean, I, I, if there was some more, a little more sweetness to it, I don't know if that'll come after the hops die out, and then you get get. Yeah, that was what I was going to say next. Is that this is 2013? I think another five years of making this fantastic. Not and so people are like, oh my god, five years? No, and like I think five years would which, change this into a which completely is, different which is, beer. Because the first thing I, I mean, I haven't had many American barley wines, but Bigfoot. That's a that's a when I took a sip. I saw Sierra oh, Bigfoot. No. No? No. Well, no. I, well, this is coming Well, for from... me, for me, for me. Because Bigfoot, for me, is like, this tastes like... I know what you're talking about. This tastes like a 10-year-old Bigfoot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> yes, Bigfoot <laughs> Bigfoot is 20 years before it's drinkable. On hop steroids. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's similar in that vein, but for me, Bigfoot, I'm like, I, people joke, I'm like 10 to 20 years on Bigfoot. People are like, ha ha. I'm like, no, I'm actually being it, serious. I'll, Side note, it also, have you had um, Thirsty Duck? I don't know, remember the name. They have an American style barley wine. Mm -mm. No? Only Thirsty Dogs I've ever had was Wolver, Wolver Siberian Night, and a couple smaller, right? Like six pack version of their beer. And I mean, it not, I don't know if it's just because of the hops. It, I, can, I, I don't remember the taste, but you know, it tastes uh, like a hoppy. Barley wine that is similar to uh, I forget what the name of it, but they have an American style of barley wine. And this reminds you of that, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing; it's like it's like I think this needs time. I think this, like I said, it's almost about two years old. I think at the five to eight year mark would be perfect. And it's not a matter of trying to turn this beer into an English barley wine. That's not the goal. It's a matter of bringing balance. And okay. I think it's a little unbalanced. I think the hops are just a little... Right. I think that, but, that sweetness... But isn't, the, isn't that the, the what an American barley wine is? It, 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 just because something is hot forward in a barley wine doesn't mean it's good. Right. I, right. I, I, mean, I, I, I think it's a matter of balance. I think there needs to be a nice balance between everything. It can't be just too in your face. I understand what you're talking about. It's going to be a hot forward. Right. And, uh, you know, American barley wines are hot forward. But there's a certain there's a certain there's a certain threshold where you know it becomes unbalanced where it's too hot for it. For example, this isn't crazy hot for it. I just don't think that malt part uh, component of it is on a level playing field to make it cohesive. Like I think it needs right. a little bit more okay. to make it. So what I'm saying is trying to bring the hops down and trying to bring bring that caramel coffee malt up to a point where they're balanced to where it drinks well. Like for example. It's barrel aged, but so it's a little bit of cheating. But I really love you went this cockeyed Cooper. Right, it's an American barley wine, but it has a perfect balance between the hop and the malt and the barrel to the point where it tastes good the way it is. It's not a matter of turning this into something different. It's a matter of making it, and it's subjective. It's all me, so right. I'm just talking right. out my ass. But it's about making it to where I think it's well made. And that's what I think. I think this would need more time. Same thing with Bigfoot. That's pretty much like there's people out there that like Bigfoot straight. Right, yeah, they're called fucking psychopaths. But um, <laughs> <laughs> they're people for fun. Yeah, they they do. Um, but they're um, but they're. I mean, the general consensus, you know, a tongue in cheek joke is, oh, I picked up a four pack of uh, Bigfoot. I'll enjoy that in five years. You know what I mean? Like, it's, right, right. It's that thing right. where it's like some beers you know. Um, should be aged, okay. Um, in order to be better, like some there's there's a um, train of thought that a beer shouldn't be bottled and sold until it's ready to drink, and then there's a train of thought to where some beers you have to buy and let it sit. 
Okay. I've, I think that's one of them. That's two things. First, on that one, do you think if the brewery put on the label to age it, just so they could get it out of their uh, out of the brewery and free up some tank space. Do you think that's okay? Well, if they if you're, you're I don't care about them putting out a product that I need to age myself. I have no qualms over that. Some just people as long do. As they tell you ahead of time. I don't or? like brewery to tell me anything. Personally, okay. well, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. This is a beer. I I cracked. It's a 2013. I cracked it. I actually like it. I'm gonna grade this in 87. That's I like this beer. Okay, I'll grade this in 87. But I will buy more of this, right. and, and I will eight. let it sit. Okay. So, like every every year, I pick up a four pack of Bigfoot, Bigfoot right. and I drink one right. every year. So, yeah. As so as I'm as like, well, duh. Now you know that you, it's like a reminder to age it. Right. So it, I always want to drink something fresh, and I want to drink it well, yeah, later. You want, you want to know how it ages, and I want to progress. So I don't want a brewery to be like, oh, in 16 days, 13. Hours because there's you know 43 <laughs> minutes in 19 seconds you should drink this or you should drink this now or you should drink it from a can or you should drink it here or you should drink it there. Did you? Whatever. Are you? Is this a Dr. Seuss? I know that's what I was trying to go for. I couldn't think of any more shit to say. But it's like I don't want a brewer to tell me what to do with my beer. Shove it in my ass, put it down my throat, pour it for my homies. I don't care. I'm gonna do whatever I want with the beer I have, and I will decide. What I want to do with it. You know what I mean? Like, God. Anyway. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Anyway. So, I don't remember why I went on this tangent. Because you asked me a question. There was something else you were going to ask me. What were you going to ask me? Your, like, first point was. Yeah. Then we went. Then I went, sh- yeah, over there. It's left field. Over oh, the okay. Way. Take out the hops. Okay. What do you think the difference is between an American and uh, English style barley wine? Minus the hops. Take the hops right out of it. What's the difference? Yeah, what what do you perceive as the difference? Is there is there more caramel toffee in an English? Or is there more is there more like yeast driven esters in an English? It's definitely has a lot to do with I think and this you would know more than me because you do infinitely more with homebrew <coughs> stuff than I've ever done. Um, but from I think there's a hop variety. Yeah. And the yeast always plays a part, but it's not, I don't think it's as crucial. It's just how it's made. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that's super generic to say. But, like, if you strip the hops out of this, does that make, and I think that's what you're hitting at. Mm-hmm. If, if you strip the hops out of this, does it make it English? I don't think so. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I think there's more to it. Um,. Uh, uh, being an English barley wine and an American barley wine, it's just a matter of one has hops, one has more hops. Well, what, I'm, what I was trying to get at is by you saying this needs five more years in the bottle, you're trying to just eliminate the hops. No, I don't think the hops are going to go away in five years. They're not completely, but more or less they're... I think the hops... Uh, let's put it this way. I think it's like a scale. Think of a scale. I think right now there's you want an equal balance between okay. hops. You can have something that's super hop forward, but it has a nice balance with everything else that's going on in the beer. Right. Whether it be barrel aging or malts or whatever. I think it's just unbalanced. Okay. And I think age will level that out. It's right. not a matter of getting, stripping the hops out of it completely. Because it's it's been two years. Right. They're not going to go away. It, 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 you know, once you hit to the two year mark, yeah, you're still they're still going to balance. Things are going to change, but it's you're not, just looking for more balance. Yeah, well. and okay. that's what I'm trying to say. It's it, it's not it's not going to go away. It's been two years. It's not if it's not gone now, it's probably going to linger for a while. Right. You know what I mean? Right. right. So it, 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 yes, it's going to die some more, and and it's going to gain a little bit in other aspects, and I think it'll just balance out, and that's. My so un- bottom word. line is you hate America. Well, of, co- well, of course. <laughs> Don't. <No. laughs> I was just going to say something horrible right there. I'm so glad I didn't say it because I would have been on like 19 government lists. <laughs> Plus the 10 you're already on. Yeah, but that's for other stuff we don't want to talk about. Don't bring that up on video ever again. Anyway, I don't know. I was just trying to be Probably funny. shouldn't be doing this. Uh, but, witness protection program. Yeah. Uh, Back to perfect the video. Example, perfect example. Um, this, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of a stone beer. I think a lot of stone beers are over-hopped. 
a little bit too hot for it. Actually, I think it's under malted, over hot. I think there's too there's a big gap. That's why it needs <laughs> the extra time. That's why some beers at two years they'll right. be perfect. Some beers right out the shoot are perfect. It reminds me of a stone beer, and then it's just a little bit too aggressively hopped, in that it needs to be better balanced. Not to okay. make it into an English beer, just to make it better balanced. Okay. And that's that's my assessment. I'm for what it's worth because it's worth nothing. I'm sorry, sorry, YouTube. I asked him a question. Yeah, he asked me. A, How dare you ask me questions? So, like I said, 87 overall. Um, I'm going 85. See, he's kind of... It's funny, every beer I bring out, he's like a couple points less, and every beer he brings is a couple points more. I see how it is, buddy. Anyway, uh, I bring good beer. <laughs> oh! <laughs> shots fired! Um, value and availability. Uh, I've never seen it before in this area, so I'm going to give it an availability of a two. I know it's reached the area, I just haven't had it before, or seen it on a shelf, but I know it's gone here, so I'll give it a two. Uh, value, $8. Can't beat that with a stick. No, you're talking about 8.6% beer. That'll be uh, a 90 beer in, like, what is it, 30 or 40 years? It'll be okay to drink? Next. It won't be poison? No. So, no, I mean, it's that 8 bucks. When's the next Haley's Comet? Um, I don't know if I had to respond to that question. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I was watching The Hangover the other day. Uh, <laughs> the Hangover? Really? Yeah. yeah. You watch that more than once? Yeah, he needs a drink. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a great value. Poo poo availability based on your uh, where you live. Miles may vary, and really nice beer. Like I said, just I think I think a five year mark per would be perfect for it, and that's my humble opinion. I agree with you. I mean, I'd I'd rather the, the hops are way it's way too over hopped. Yeah. Uh, if you like what beers, will you like this? Uh, if you like Stone Old Guardian, uh, you'll like this. If you like uh, a lot of Stone Barley wines, if you like. Whatever that Thirsty Dog uh, American Cell Barley Wine is. Yeah, akin to this. And if you like aging stuff, it's definitely something I'm going to go, when I see it again, I'm going to buy a bottle, at throw eight, it in the cellar, and let it sit Yeah, at eight, $8, $8, buy <laughs> two. Yeah, you can't, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, a bomber at eight bucks, you can't go wrong. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or didn't, or somewhere in between, comment, subscribe, and like, and all that good <laughs> stuff. Uh, check us out in the internet. In, in internet. <laughs> It's 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 rhymes with some abortion. Uh, check us out on the internet, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places for me. Uh, Lou Brew on uh, YouTube for some homebrew goodness and Brew Photo on Instagram. And yeah, there you go. Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you drink a nice American barley wine right now, and hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.